What's up, guys? Welcome back to your channel of IT from LT Computers. Today, I have a small special review for you guys. We're going to talk about a little bit of Wi Fi range or Wi Fi range extenders, or also well known in the market as repeaters. Well, we have to remember that we are working with networking for a long time. We have different vendors for networking and Wi-Fi networks. Today, you can find in the market multiple devices that can actually provide you Wi-Fi. We are today on the wave for Wi-Fi 6, and surely we're going to be encounter the wave of Wi-Fi 7. But we are solid, I can say, on wave 6 which is basically the signals that we already know, which is going to be 2G, G, and it's integrating also this G or 6 gigahertz technology. Now, in all this radio or in all these products that we have, which is the place that range extenders or repeaters are located? When, when, you, when you talk about, I need an extender, more likely what it comes first to your head, it's a device that so similar like this one, correct? It is a plug and play device. It brings a outlet adapter. It brings the antennas, as you can see, and also brings more likely one little, you know, dongle or button where you can press and um, uh, connect to an existing Wi-Fi network. Now, let's remember what is a Wi-Fi range extender. It is a device that amplifies and extends the coverage of an existing Wi-Fi network. It is acts like a bridge. It actually catches an existing Wi-Fi signal and then it repeats. Or this little device as well, it is capable of creating its own network. Yes, that's absolutely true. This one can rename the network and create their own you know, network protocols and also IPs. Let's call it on that way so we understand. And then let's say, if you have at home only one home based router, you have your modem and then you have your, your uh, what we call the router, which is the Wi Fi router. And then suddenly, in certain area of the house, there's really low coverage. Let's say your house has three or four or five rooms. One of the rooms is really low. Now, there's ways to solve that, correct? There's new devices today that they work like in satellites or beams. There's very popular brands that they can have a combo of three or four pack, which are really powerful, but they actually will be also as well, very expensive. Now, this device on a convenient price of less than $30 can actually solve your problem. You don't have to spend that much money. This device can be plugged in the wall in one of the outlets regularly. It will turn on and will, you know, reset the signal that the modem or that repeater router, main router at home will give you. And then this guy will catch it up and then it will amplify it. It will extend it. Now, there are multiple, there are multiple uh, sizes of this type of range extenders. And some ones come with this port, which is an RJ45, which uh, function it is to when the signal catches, this guy will recept it. And then I can have an actual LAN, or yes, I can insert a wire here, an RJ45, an Ethernet cable, and then I can wire any other device that I will have on that particular room where the signal was actually bad. Now, that's one type of the range extenders. This was brought by TP-Link. By chance, the video is not a sponsor, but well, I'm going to show you another device that actually I did the review on TikTok. And this actually, yes, was a sponsor to me. And I will show you how it came. It came like this. It calls MuCar. MuCar has a fantastic price of base $20. When you open the box, it has a really nice presentation. And inside, you will find the product, which is so similar to the one prior I show you. It is a, you know, base white box with a power here on the side. And then you will find also the RJ45 where you can land also the network. It has a little button in here, which you press to synchronize and a LED indicator that you can actually turn off or turn on. In the case you don't want the LED, you can turn it off. In the case you want it, you turn it on. And the two antennas will provide the same, you know, capabilities. Now, we're gonna talk about a little bit of what exactly are, you know, certain advantages that I can have installing, you know, these kind of devices. So this one or 
this one so these guys are below 30 dollars for sure and uh, i can say they actually do the job but they have uh, some advantages of course and disadvantages so the advantages are of course first of all the price i mean it's a killer price i mean and sometimes it's convenient let's call it like that by the other hand also another advantage is like it improves the wi-fi coverage in areas with weak or no signal, as we were mentioning. And also, Simplify, it's a really simple installation, very easy to install, so you just plug this on any outlet of uh, electricity, and then you have it, you know, up and running. And of course, the cost. Now, which are the disadvantages of these devices? Well, the first disadvantages, or the first, you know, let's call it Kong, it actually creates a separate network. Yes, so it's not like an access point which actually runs in the same network. I mean, how do you understand this? It's uh, essentially the main network that is created at your home has certain type of IPs. This little boy will create another network which actually can be renamed differently. Like let's say the room with no Wi-Fi, and then this will have a separate IPs. So what happens when you walk from let's say you know the living room? to the room which has no Wi-Fi, you will have to manually do the disconnection and then the reconnection to the Wi-Fi that this little boy created. And when you go back to your living room, you have to disconnect from this guy and reconnect to your main home network. That could be, you know, sometimes bothering considering that they are devices that today create, they create a mesh network, which actually you don't have to manually disconnect and connect. So you just walk from room to room and you're always connected. So that is the work of a mesh network and that is the work of an access point. Uh, saying that, the uh, difference is like more likely an access point needs to be wired. You need to run a line, a, a network cable, an Ethernet cable from the main switch to your access point. In the case of this guy, you don't need to run wires. Now, yes, there's some solutions in access points like they mesh without this wire, correct? Just to support a network, but the speeds are not that as, as good. Now, there are some boxes like the cheap ones, like this one that to be honest, the speed lead, leave you a lot of to think about it. If in the case, the kind of work of uh, which are you doing? Let's say if you want to support many devices with this guy, they're going to be fighting for the network. If you want to, you know, play solid games on Wi-Fi, yeah, this is going to be probably lagging. But in the same, let's say in the same line of products, we're going to show you essentially something a little bit bigger, bring it by the same company which is tp-link and then this is a wi-fi mesh extender and it's a little bit bigger product so I'm, I'm saying not about the size but i'm saying about what it actually supports it's an ac 1900 dual band 13 megabytes 5 gigahertz and also a 600 megabytes 2.4 gigahertz in my hands i have a tp-link ac 1900 and this is what it how it comes in the presentation so this is a sealed box guys i'm not gonna open but the idea is it's exactly the same. So you're gonna plug this guy here in the wall, in the outlet right there. And then this guy has three antennas instead of one. One, two, three. So this one comes up to supposedly 1300 megabytes per second. This one probably 30, 50, so it's less. 100 in max, I think. And this is uh, up to a gigabyte almost. So, but the design of the idea of the extender is the same thing. All right. So another another thing that also comes on the idea is that the speed, the speed for these guys is obviously less than something like this. OK, and there's there's a big difference on on speed. Yes. I mean, sometimes it's worth it to pay a little bit more for a more complete product than, you know, taking something for or less cost, but everything, as I'm saying, it's up to your needs. What are you exactly needing to do? You just have to accessing emails or you know, once in a while doing some certain need of Wi-Fi, then I will say it's fine. But in case you need more capability for Wi-Fi, you need to do Zoom calls, you need to do YouTube, you need to do, you're going to need an extender like this at least, All right? There are products like actually are a little bit bigger than this TP-Link. There's another one brought it by Netgear. I want to show you guys pretty popular brand as well. There's another range extender. That's on the same, um, you know, kind of line of product that the one as I, as I show you from TP-Link. Okay, so also the same idea. You plug the, uh, you plug this this little box on the wall on AC wall right there, and then you're gonna be 
with this up and running. Also, you can QR, a QR, uh, QR code and then start using the application right there. Now, what is another kind of product that I can show you that provides something similar? It is also known as an extender or an access point. I'll show you. This is a little bit a different quite of a product, but at least right there. So it looks like a modem, a router, but it comes with three antennas. This one comes also with one port only, power and RJ45. This one secures you 450 megabytes, also brought it by this guy. And as you can see, it does three kinds of jobs. It says it could be an access point, it could be a range extender, or it could be accommodated as a client media adapter. Now, this one brings me to my remembers, and uh, I have something which I travel a lot, and it always comes with me more likely when I have a trip because there's unsecured networks everywhere. And let me, one second, I want to show you right here what it is, my Traveler router. Now, this device, it is a Traveler router. I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna show you guys. Inside, I have this portable case, which is really neat. And I have a power device, as you can see. I have some wires to do my job. And then I have this little square or cube. You see it? All right, so this is my Traveler router. And it, this little guy, it is capable to do multiple jobs so when you set it up it has a switch and you can actually let's say change the capability of connection of this little box you can share ethernet you can share or ethernet through and then you can share hotspot you can also do an ap a range extender and a client box so how this work it is also with one power right here you see and then uh, when it turns on you can connect to an existing Wi-Fi network. So a lot of people confuse us and think like, this is a magic box that actually you can bring it with you and it has a SIM card inside. No guys, it's not the same. This is uh, also as, you know, quite a different. You need an existing Wi-Fi network to connect. So, so similar to the Wi-Fi range extenders. The difference with this box is like this little, you know, router, I would call it, it is capable to produce multiple kinds of jobs in networking, not only repeating the signal. This one has more complex protocols. You can firewall, you can create subnetworks, you can create VLANs. And as well, physically, you have an RJ45 where you can actually connect the switch. So yes, you can catch a signal, which could be a free Wi-Fi, go it through the sky and filter it and make it a secure Wi-Fi connection. All right. So let's say you are traveling in your van. Let's say you, you have a van and you're traveling around the country and then you are connected to the Wi-Fi on the park. You are parking your traveler van. You can use this little guy to connect to that known Wi-Fi because you will have the Wi-Fi name and the password. And then after that, this guy will always produce your secure network with your protocols, which you can connect any other device, your PC, your laptop, your cameras. So that's the capability. And as well, you have a USB port here. The functionality says EG 4G USB. So take a look. You can even plug a USB, which actually will have a 3G or 4G network SIM card. So with that, this router, this Traveler router converts into something quite of different of the devices I show you as Wi-Fi range extenders. All right, so this was a review of what it is Wi-Fi range extenders, what is the use and, you know, the most popular brands in the market, the prices around. I would really like to know in your comments if you want me to go deep in any of these devices, maybe the control panel, the configuration, the cloud portals, or, you know, some troubleshooting on them. I'm very enthusiastic to actually test this one that was sent to me, you know, by this company called MuCard. You know, MuCard sent me this. Yes, they are not, you know, sponsoring this video, but they are sponsoring the one in TikTok. The box is pretty nice uh, presentation. You can actually scan a QR code on the back of the box, and then you will have a video where you can see how to install this guy or this device for your use, okay? Check my uh, TikTok video. Also, I have a TikTok channel which actually runs under blackbell underscore IT. 
at blackbell underscore it please check it out follow me on that channel as well and this was everything from at least the side of what it is you know the different brands the different products that we handle in the shop which is lt computers or lake tahoe computers all right guys one more new it's like i have this new hat that actually it is 3d printed we have the logo at the front and we have also another logo here at the side which is the maker of the hat which is my song that's his logo so if you're interested in hats like this also we can provide and um i'd be happy to actually do some giveaways on this hat probably on the next uh video or live that i'm gonna do i want to venture actually to send a hat to you know one of the best comments that i have on this video so go ahead and put a comment i will send you a hat all right i have this color and i have also a blue color all right guys so that was the review for why five range extenders don't forget to stay you know update on all this active technology that is coming that is always in there and it's important to actually know to use like and follow the video and i'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>